Weasel News. What's up, guys? Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today, as promised, we are doing a new slash SWAT patrol. We are in the FIB Rancher. As you can see here, it is an unmarked car. Pretty awesome. I'll leave a link to it, as always, in the description. I'm with four other uh, bodyguards. They're all equipped with carbine rifles. They're going to be responding to high-risk callouts call-ups where brute force is needed to take somebody down. We are in Sandy Shores today in Blaine County. We'll be acting as the local SWAT backup for these calls and we're going to assist the police in taking down these high-risk call-outs. So join me on today's patrol. Attention all units, a kidnapping in Sandy Shores. Shots fired. Okay, we've got reports of a kidnapping in the area. We're going to assist Blaine County police officers along with LSSD in order to get the kidnap, kidnap person out safely. As you can see, LSSD is using the 1999 Crown Vic. Awesome police car with a pretty cool texture. This thing moves. It really does. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, as you can see, the... The noose members in the back, <laughs> they're kind of, their backs are sticking through the seating, but it's okay. It's not perfect. Uh, today, I saw a police motorcycle, like a sports bike, get released. So, tomorrow's patrol, I'm most definitely going to try to use that. Um, whoa, buddy. Watch out there. So, we're going to see if we can take this car down as safely as possible and get the kidnapped person out. All right, we're off-road here. Let's, let's head out. We all have the carbine rifles. Alright, shots fired. I was trying to take out the tires. Unsuccessful. Come on, buddy. Hop in. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Taking a sweet time over there. Alright, let's go. I thought, uh, I thought we had him cornered, but he got around us. So, I think next I'm going to just try to straight take the, the driver out as long as he's not driving too fast because if we take the driver out and he crashes and the kidnapped person's injured, that's not going to be good for us. We don't want that. All right, looks like he's off road here. All right, he's still going. All right, oh yeah, his trunk is all torn up. All right, buddy, you need to stop. You need, oh yeah, I, I think I did get a tire out actually. That was, that, oh my gosh. Okay, I want to try something here. So wh which way are we headed? We're headed up here. Okay. So let's let's put a wave mark right there. So if we hit, what, what is it? Uh, left shift and R, we should activate a robot. We're going to try this out. First time ever. We set up a robot for you. All right, get me out of this view. There's a roadblock and he just simply went around the roadblock. Pretty cool, that's a new feature in Kowald's V roadblock um, when you're on a pursuit. This person, all right, his, looks like a rear tire is out. I'm gonna try to break here to get him to come to a stop, all right. Okay, suspect's down. He was armed with a weapon. He had some money on him, too. All right, suspect is free. She's safe. Whew. All right, that was a close call. We'll, we'll go ahead and search this car, and we'll get it towed out of here. That was some quick firing on me. <laughs> Just smacking his body around. I, I do want to put up some barriers here. I don't want uh, people interfering with this scene. Hey, let's get yeah. What? You go away. Uh, Alright, let's get the corner out here. Got one dead suspect. Looks like a white male in his late 30s, early 40s. 
searching this car to see if he had anything else in there. I'm not finding much. I found some license plates. Oh yeah, somebody requested I put my weapon on oh, more license plates. I put my weapon away uh, when I'm when I'm getting this. Okay, we're gonna take that terrorist activity call. That is gonna be the perfect call for us. We'll go ahead and get this towed. Alright. So we're cleaning up this scene. And then we're gonna go. Alright guys, come on. Let's not let's not be dumb here. Oh my gosh. What is this? Okay, they might be running from the terrorist attack. And I just saw somebody fly through here. Okay, people are panicking because there's terrorist activity down the road. And we are stuck in the middle of it. Oh my gosh. Alright. My men are going to start opening fire now. You just slammed into... Look at all this traffic coming through here. We need to get into this car. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I probably, I, I really wanted to take that call out because it's terrorist activity. That's like perfect for for us, but I'm I'm jammed in here. My men are down. Come on, get in. Let's get in the car. Look at this truck. Oh my God. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we, we're trying to respond here. Come on, let's get the heck out of there. All right, people are fleeing because there's for the terrorist activity calls, if you didn't know, there's probably 10 to 15 terrorists that spawn. So let's let's go ahead and assist right here. Yeah, they're all right there. Oh my gosh. Again. Oh, run. And I definitely got destroyed out of my own ignorance. That was not smart of me. I always try to go running in, and of course, LSPDFR crashed. Seems pretty typical in in a situation like that. It doesn't know how to handle it. So as soon as I get it running again, I will be right back with y'all. We have a traffic alert in Grapeseed for a high-ranking game member in transit. Okay, we got a AMPR hit for very dangerous gang activity. Determine that the wanted suspects are in the vehicle. So let's flip around here. And here it is passing us right now. Perform a traffic stop on the Target Rancher XL. So let's flip around. <laughs> Once again, we'll follow him for a little bit and pull him over. These are wanted gang members. Highly dangerous, so... Let's flip on the lights here. Go ahead and approach them. Okay. Let's approach the suspect. Let me uh, get out my body armor and everything. We are performing a high risk traffic stop here. <laughs> All right, got my carbine rifle out. Let's go ahead and put up a barrier. I really don't want you. You don't want to come into the scene. You really don't. All right. See if they're even in the car. This could be um, bad information. All right. All right. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We are code four on the call. Please don't freak out. He ran through my barrier. I didn't even know that was possible. You're all, fucked now. all right, buddy. That was not smart. <laughs> the bodyguards just go crazy. Uh, somebody starts to run us over or anything. Oh, my gosh. This just turns into a nightmare. Okay, let's get the corner out here. All right, guys. Disengage. Disengage. Let's get off the road. Maybe that will help. We'll go ahead and search the vehicle, see if we find anything else in here. Oops, I forgot to put my gun away. What was that? Oh, uh, this happened last time with the corner. Get rid of that barrier. 
Come on, guys. We're just going to stop traffic at the moment while the corner finishes up, and then we'll resume it. So I think uh, this is the same truck I'm actually in, <laughs> except mine is the police version. And that trunk just owned the heck out of me. Oh, my God. And there goes my gun. I don't think we're gonna find anything. What the fuck? We will make sure. Don't want to leave any stone unturned. Found bags of money. All right, I'm glad we checked the the trunk right there. We found some money. We have a wanted felon on the loose on um, Sonora Freeway. Ooh, Target execute in. arrest warrant. That sounds interesting. Roger, approach with caution. Suspect details, female. Okay. Whoa. So let's go ahead, we'll get it towed, and let's get out of here. We're causing a traffic jam. So this execute search warrant is part of the latest update for the federal callouts pack. Okay, we're gonna follow the green marker here. Get out of everyone's way. That went pretty well. As well as it can go. The the bodyguards, they just if somebody accidentally runs you over because they're panicky. They will just they'll go ham on everybody, kill everybody. We've no witnesses. This thing is fast actually. Alright. Let's pull out here. Let's go ahead and execute this. I really do not know what to expect. We got a description of the suspect and uh, their name so we're gonna have to go off that information like I said I've never actually done this call out before alright so we'll we'll turn on a uh, light till we get a little closer we're about 400 meters we're on route 13 we're now in more of the Chinaski mountain range area so is this person on foot uh, looks like they're on foot here in the middle of the road interesting okay I'm moving in to make their rest oh yeah it's definitely her I believe okay let's see if we can arrest her okay um, <laughs> I was gonna taser but uh, they decided deadly force was necessary when she started attacking me and yeah, we'll put a slow, slow roll through here. Put up a barrier. I love my barriers. And let's get the corner out here. Got a dead body on the road. Yeah, they just opened up fire on her. She tried to assault me. My bodyguards, they said, no, no, no. We ain't going to do that today. Took her out. Corners on scene. You ain't got the <laughs> Where are you going, guys? We're over here. That's one way to get over here. Corners glitching out a little bit. They're getting stuck in these little road barriers. There we go. Take those pictures. Awesome. Okay, well that's cleaned up. We'll hop in the car. Move the barrier. Get rid of the roadblock. And head on our way. I think that's gonna do it for today's patrol. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I got a lot of requests to do a SWAT patrol again. I actually thought they could hang off the side of this vehicle, but it doesn't look like it. I originally had four bodyguards, but the fifth one could not fit in, and the back seat is a little glitchy. But if you guys want to see more of these type of patrols, let me know, and we'll continue to take more high-risk callouts and assist the police in other 
uh, <laughs> other co-ops. But that's it for now. Uh, leave me suggestions as always, and I'll see you guys on the next patrol.